All right, what is poppin' people? We're here with another PS Live because we got tier shifts tomorrow. So as per usual, hand to the forehead, salute, because this meta is about to be gone yet again. I'll do some tier shift covering video tomorrow. I don't really expect in you to get a lot of Pokemon. I more expect, like, okay, so obviously see the team that I'm using. Um, here we go. So, like, here's all these Pokemon that are currently tiered in you, right? This is, I'm pretty sure, well over 100. Um, if I go into the lobby, let's see. Um, DS in you. Yeah, so we have over 100 Pokemon in you at the moment. I expect us to drop probably at least 50 of them to PU. Given I think NU got like 60, I think when we got our big shift, I think RU got over 60. So that would cut the number about in half, and then I imagine some Pokemon just rise up to RU. They'll probably drop some Pokemon too, but I would imagine NU loses a lot more. Or NU is going to have the number go down a significant amount. And even when we just look at disregarding what drops the PU, I expect us to probably lose more to RU than gain from RU, but we'll see. Anyhow, this team is something that, I don't know, I was just kind of building for fun. And I thought, I wanted to use Starmie, because one of my friends was talking about Starmie. You know, he liked the more defensive sets with like heavy duty boots and rapid spin and flip turn. How many points do you got, by the way? Okay, that's fine. But when he was talking about those sets, I started thinking to myself, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. What if we just r ran a choice specs? Because this mod's got great coverage. It's got trick. It's got really all you could ask for. Now, unfortunately, my opponent led with a Serena, and I have grass resist Serena. So that's not too good. You're not high jump kick. You're just not. You're not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, this mod, I don't know how I feel about Serena. I have a scarf Serena on this team. And high key, I'm unsure if I think it's all that good or not. I think it's fine, but it's not anything that I'd write home about. Oh, you're such a piece of shit. So he's like defensive Arcanine, he teleports. If he goes Serena, I think I'm gonna stay in. Actually, if he goes Serena, I'm going hard road. I forgot I have a spin blocker. <laughs> so I could just wisp the Serena here. Cool, cool. Is this Assault Vest? I didn't do any damage. <laughs> like, what? Oh, it's confirmed a Leaf Guard, apparently, too. So not even Queenly Majesty. That's kind of griefing, isn't it? Yeah, he did take boot Not boots. He did take Rocks damage, so he's not... Um, what's it called? I know what it's called. <laughs> he's not, um, Heavy Duty Boots. Hmm. I'm gonna go into this. That does so much, and yet yeah, losing my Violet on P2 is super huge as well. I'm a knock. I do a million, and because of the knock, I actually still tank. <laughs> That's actually really helpful. We knock the Arcanine. I'm gonna go back into my Starmie here. The bad, the best he can do is teleport. Unfortunately, he can teleport right back into the Inteleon, but you know what? That's okay. I'm still really worried about the Comfy. Um, the Comfy's annoying. But I think we go P2 here. I should be able to tank it hy a Hydro, because he's lost the specs. Right? Oh, especially the use. Oh, give me that health back. Give me that health back. Yes, and he faints the Serena. Alright, we're in a good spot now. Also, just video reminder, if you enjoy what you're watching, leave a like, please. We're trying to go big. I'm gonna recover again. And I definitely need y'all's support if we're gonna continue growing this channel, so hey. If you're liking what you're watching, oh, he did talks, that's kind of unfortunate. Consider liking to show your support. You can go arrow here. I could toxic, but I feel like it's griefing, so I'm just gonna flamethrower, yeah. I do 5 million, I actually get a burn as well. 
Oh, God, taking that hit's so weird. That's really weird, man. That's really weird. I don't like that I just took a million damage. This could just end up sweeping me. Actually, I have Queenly Majesty Serena. That's so unfortunate for my opponent. I'm obviously going right here. here. I, I don't care. I mean, I'm gonna Rock Blast. I no longer have my Serena, unless I defog. Hmm. What do I do here? Analytic Starmie can maybe still save the game. Hmm. I'm gonna sack the Rhyperior here. I'm not gonna sack the Rhyperior here, he's actually just gonna miss? Huh. Alright, so now here's the unfortunate part of this game. I don't like these next few turns. But we do live the hit. We do live the hit. Okay. I feel like the ideal turn here is for him to set up again. Yeah, yeah, alright. Hit. Hit. Actually, no, go for D-Kiss. Choke and go for Draining here. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah... Ah, not bad. Clean game. Clean, clean, clean. Leave a like for the... Yo, I'm so glad that I thought about defogging. Alright, well now we get Hoenn confirmed in some bullshit-ass hyper offense. It's also against the Zoroark, so I have to figure out how I want to play into that. I'm leading Starmie. You're just not an Aerodactyl, you're a Zoroark. I, I can sense this. I can sense this. This is a Zoroark. This is a lead Zoroark, and he's not Sash. No, nope, you're not Sash, you're just leading a Zoroark. I was wrong. Um, I'm surfing again. Oh, you're so trash. Anyhow. Rare to the arrow. I'm guessing that was his rockers. Now he's got just five offense Pokemon left. And they're all kind of annoying in their own special way. So I'm going to go Rotom here. This might bait out the Zoro. It might also just draw into Indeedee. And I don't have a great answer to that. Obviously, because Indeedee, then it's an actual Indeedee. Yeah, so I have to go P2 here. Oh, you're so cringe. Like, you're actually just so cringe. What is this? You are so cringe. That's not even a 2-hit KO. This mod is trash. Do I knock here? I think I... Oh, no. Knocking is horrible. Mostly because if he goes Hitmonlee, then, like, what did I just do to myself? <laughs> I'm griefing. I think U's just always the play. Admittedly, I also want to keep P2 around. I just don't know how feasible that ends up being this game. I'm surprised he's... No, bleh. let me learn how to speak. I'm surprised he's Scarf. Or not Scarf, I'm surprised he's this. Also, I'm just trying to waste as many turns as this as I can. Hmm. I'll go for Rocks. I'm kind of hoping that he just kills Rhyperior here. Actually, I should Earthquake. Don't give anything a free switch in. But I want him to KO my Rhyperior. Because then I just get to go Serena. And Whip. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Oh, you know what he is though. He's gonna be ter he's gonna be terrain extender CM. I guarantee it. I can sense it. I can sense that. I can sense the terrain extender a mile away. I don't know why. Yeah. Here's this. He might not even be terrain extender. No, he is. But I get this in. We see that he is actually a Hitmonlee, so I'm just still keeping this in the back of my mind that he has this. I'm mostly just trying to prevent losing to Lee right now. I feel like Serena can potentially win me this game. But I still need to play for that. The Stoys is also like admittedly rather scary, especially with P2 weakened. Hit. Thank you. Alright, that's cool. Um, hmm. I'm gonna Volt. I want health back. And I know you do not KO me. 
That does so much. How? Why does that do so much damage? What? I'm actually so confused. I am a Porygon too. I had an Aviolite. And this was burned, it still, like, destroyed me. Um, hmm. This is actually the Ndidi. I'm trying to think about what I want out, you know? This actually still took that hit so well. Hmm. Maybe I should have sacked Lazzle there, because keeping this at more HP was probably better. Well, I could recover there. I could still save that. I'm shocked that he went for CM, because what if I just hard Serena? Predicting, like, a healing wish, you know? I don't, now, admittedly, I have no idea what this man is running last. Oh god, do I really have to hit a million power whips in a row to win this game? <sighs> this is gonna be... I, this is gonna come down to the wire, I think. It's also gonna come down to whether or not I could get um, a para, I think, with Discharge versus one of these two. Also, if one of these is Sash or not, because if he's Sash and it just doesn't matter, I don't think Serena can clean at that point. May eh, maybe. It depends. Goes out to Barb. Now, it said I trace Tough Claws. Does that mean this is actually the Barbarical, then? It appeared yes. I did not get a Para. That is a problem. I really am wishing I had that Aviolite now. I'm really wishing I had that Aviolite now. Oh, and this learns CC. Huh. Alright, Serena, are you somehow bulky enough to live a hit? The answer is no, it is not. God, I, I don't think I should have let this get... I don't think I should have let that get knocked. Oh, that was super power it used each time. Oh, I'm a little bit slow. Um, let's see. Well, he's gonna... Oh, my lord, wait, I Oko'd the Zoro. Yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, my... Yo! Hey! Hey! Choice Scar Serena! Put some respect on her name! Alright. That felt great. Not bad. When I saw it first with Kale, I was like, oh, I'm in the clear! But then I saw that it was, you know... The terrible, no good, very bad. Oh god. Speaking of terrible, no good, very bad... Um... Can I get... No longer wishes to be in this plane of existence for 500, please? What am I looking at? I don't like any of this. I'm leading Salazzle. Yeah, I felt this would be the first lead. And as per usual, we just kind of hope their boots. That's really all we're doing here. Hoping for the boots so I get Oko a flamethrower. He reveals no boots. You know what's going to be funny is when this Barbarical comes in, Shell smashes up, and I lose. That's going to be really epic Lamau troll. Um, I'm going to go for a Toxic here. Pain. Alright. You, you want to do this, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Sit. Sit. Sit down! Why are you blocking my Salazzle, big dog? I wonder what he thought I was going into there. Admittedly, what I probably would have done is gone into the Rotom. I literally have to Toxic this here. And it may still not even be enough. But we're still going to go for it. So now we go P2, and I think we just hope that he is not CC, right? Or not CC, I keep messing up. Superpower. Alright. We're in an okay spot. The Galar Kuno is a bit of a threat with competitive. And Toxtris eh, Toxtricity isn't a huge problem for me at this point. They go out to Toxtricity. I'm going into my Rhyperior every time. And I'm just going to Earthquake here. This thing's job is mostly... Well, it checks Galar Kuno. Hmm. 
You're not poltering. Yeah. And I'm just defogging here. I don't care. Hmm. Do I care, actually? I think I do. Maybe I shouldn't have cared. But I'm still faster than this. I think caring was a mistake. I think I should have just gotten rid of the, um, what's it called? I need to be using T-Bolt versus this, and I have Analytic for when I start hitting it. This was also a huge choke from me though, just because if he had plotted up there that would have been really bad. Yeah, giving me Analytic's kind of cool, but I don't know if I'll get the hit off, you know? Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's an Analytic Choice Vex Thunderbolt. Good night. You deserve a good rest, Tarkuna. <laughs> See, this is the- oh, this feels good. I haven't been laddering it in you too much lately, and so getting this just good streak of games where I'm feeling good, really feeling myself with these, it's nice. Even if it's that very scary web steam. You know, fun fact, that black, black, no, block, different words, that block Malamar is something that <laughs> I, I really did just about have the um, Titans bring that for one of their weeks of in use snake. I don't remember how the suggestion came up, but I think Joey floated out Malamar. And then I mentioned, oh yeah, block acupressure is a truly, truly a great set. The pinnacle of excellence. Almost brought it. We ended up not bringing it, probably because it's terrible. Where am I at rating? 1450? Cool, cool. So long as we're climbing, lads. So long as we're climbing. And now I'm going to pause because for some reason the ladder is now dead. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We got probably the final game of this live. And honestly, what I'm looking at is Starmy Death Fodder once the Raj is gone. And I only say once the Raj is gone because that means I click Psy Shock. And it's doing big damage. I don't think Articuno Galar's physical... Okay, we're back. My bad. I forgot that my hyphen key is the pause button. Obviously, nothing really happened in between there. Let's try to get some chip on this. This Dragalge is a problem. I'm gonna recover up until I'm at like max. And by max, I mean whatever I can be at after a sludge wave. And I'm gonna go Rhyperior. Like, why is this mod so problematic? <laughs> I'm gonna just throw up my rocks here, because this is very free. And I do think that we, like, could very much confirm that that is specs. I want this in. Analytic, and I'm about to surf. I know, it does, like, over 60 to Kaparaja. At least if it's, like, the Leftovers variant. I don't know about AV. AV probably takes still, like, upwards of 50 from Analytic, Starmie. Um, yeah, that that's not a check. I'm not sure why that came in. But I'll take it. Analytic Starmie. I love this Pokemon. And in case you're still around here, I did actually RMT this team. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check that out. I go a little bit more in depth as to how the team kind of came together. A lot of it's just Pokemon I wanted to try though. Because when you get a just completely changed up metagame, I find the most fun thing is to just look at all the new Pokemon, just try a whole bunch of them out, and just kind of see what sticks, what still feels like it's good. So like, new poke, the, you know, example here would be like, new Pokemon, Starmie, old Pokemon, Salazzle, I felt they'd work well together. And then just a whole bunch of other standard stuff, and then, you know, the Choice Scarf Serena, because I wanted to try it, and because, you know, kind of like having a Pokemon that beat up on Lanoon back when we had that. And now my opponent does not seem to want to make a move. Testing because I'm bad. Well, the only thing that's bad here is the fact that you're taking forever to make up your mind. Hmm. Uh, something I actually want to calc real quick is P2 versus Specs Dragalge. I called it Dragalge earlier, but that's wrong. Are you defensive pivot? I don't remember how much speed I have. I'll say I'm 252. Are you Specs? How much does Draco do? Oh, Draco does potentially enough to Oko me. Well, if my opponent comes back, 
And it goes Dracology. I'll probably... Actually, with rocks up, I definitely am fainting to Draco. Um, he'd be at 42. I definitely do not KO a Surf from that range. At least I don't think I do. It may not matter. My opponent may just be saying that they are done. <laughs> After that one play, they have had enough. Their team, admittedly, is also like really slow, so Starmie is kind of just free. It's not threatened out by anything offensively, which is kind of just really good for me, <laughs> you know? Are we really going to get a timer win on the last one? This guy's... This guy dipped. This guy said, fuck Starmie. Yep, alright, he's gone. <laughs> His man said, I do not want to deal with this little starfish brat. I am out of here. Peace. Have my points. Alright. That's going to be it for Nidos Live. We got four quick games. Four Ws. You know. I had to make up for the last live I did. That was embarrassing. Like, legitimately, I came out of that live feeling like less of a man. And, you know, I had to redeem myself. So I'm glad we were able to do it this live. Especially against um, Owen Confirmed. That man is a ladder, like, fiend. Constantly, he's at the top of the ladder. So it always feels good when I can knock him down a peg. Just remind him that he too, like me, is a mere mortal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this live. Um, as I said, tomorrow when we get the tier shifts, and of course when I wake up, I'll go over them, talk about the any related ones, throw my random commentary on the other shifts as well if I see anything that I think is kind of funny. And until then, I hope y'all are enjoying life. Obviously, it's it's been a while since we've had normal in our day-to-day -day lives y you know what i'm talking about obviously but i don't want to say the word <sighs> hopefully we can get back to normal soon but until then stay strong i love you all and i'll see you guys next time peace